Hi everyone, it's Alyssa here from the Township Library and today I'm going to show you how to make our March craft which is a photo coaster. So I'm doing this right now for the first time with a little bit of trial and error. I've tested the craft out and then I did it again and it didn't work the same way as it did when I tested it. So today we're going to learn together how to transfer together, how to transfer a photo onto a wooden coaster using Mod Podge. So we're going to give this a try. We are using regular Mod Podge today. So if you did not receive a kit, we're just using the regular Mod Podge. And I did, I will show you my test coaster so you can kind of see what happened and then where I went wrong. So when I did my test coasters, I did it two ways. They usually say you need to use a laser jet printer, but I know most of us at home have an inkjet printer. So this is inkjet, there's my little kitty cat, and this is laser jet. The process works a little bit differently with the Mod Podge for both. This one you could definitely see the grain of the wood through, it's more vintage looking, a little distressed. And then this one, you can't see as much of the wood grain through it at all, and it does peel up in some areas when you're trying to remove the paper backing. Uh, and we'll talk about that when we get there. So then what happened was I tried to do the same thing with an inkjet, pr inkjet printer to compare to what most folks would have at home on the coast that we're using today. And it did not work out at all. I'm not sure why. So we're gonna redo it together today. I'm gonna do both inkjet and laser jet. And depending on the results of this experiment, uh, 24 hours from now, I will be emailing everybody who got a kit and asking them if they would like a picture printed on our laser jet printer. Okay, so I have my two coasters here so I can try out my two different methods. I have my foam brush and my Mod Podge. There is a photo transfer medium Mod Podge that you can use, uh, but regular Mod Podge seems to work. We'll see. And then I have pictures. Uh, this is my cat Jasmine who uh, is no longer with us but I wanted to test it out in a picture that had a little more contrast and she definitely has more contrast on her face than licorice. Sorry licorice. So, so what we're going to do is kind of figure out the space here as it relates to here and give it a good little trace around. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to coat our wood with the Mod Podge. We want a nice thick layer and that's what makes our image stick and transfer. this pretty much only where I want the image to stick and transfer so on this one I'm really not doing these dark bark edges just depends on what you want and the coaster that you have and for good measure I'm gonna go ahead with another coat And what we're going to do is we're going to put our picture on here face down. So you'll notice that if you gave me a picture that has words on it, or if you have a picture with, that has words on it, you need to mirror your image when you print it. And if you have trouble with that, let me know. I can help you. So I'm going to put this face down. And we want to make sure there are no air bubbles. Same with this one. And then I'm also just going to kind of take, see this excess that's bleeding off the edge. I'm going to take that off right now. We don't need that. Okay, and so that is it for now. I'm going to let these dry for 24 hours before I come back and show you how to finish them. So next time you see me in this video, which will be a couple seconds for you and 24 hours for me, I'll be at home finishing this up.
Okay, so it's the next day, we're in my kitchen, and I have taken a damp, not soaking wet, but a damp kitchen towel, and I've gotten these nice and white. You can see this one still needs to be soaked a little bit. Um, and then basically what you do is you kind of start to peel and rub the, the backing of the paper off. And you can do that with the wet tea towel. And you want to be gentle and it's going to take some time. So you can see I'm starting to peel this off. Some of it comes off in chunks, some of it comes off slowly, small pieces. You don't want to rub too hard. We're just kind of working in layers because if you rub too hard, there is a chance that you might rub the image right off of the wood. And then definitely put down a towel or something because all of these little paper pieces are now going to be everywhere. I didn't say that this wasn't messy, but it is satisfying. You can see, you can see Jasmine's eyes right there. So you can see kind of, I think I, I rubbed a little too hard right over here when I was first starting, so some of that came up a little bit. But otherwise you can see her face is being revealed and it is right here on the wood, which is really cool. If you want to be really, really gentle, go ahead and use your finger like this and just kind of rub, 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 rub. And so sometimes I like to just let this sit and dry because when it dries, you'll see where there's still a lot of pulp that needs to be rubbed off. And then what I like to do is just dip my finger in some water and rub it off like that too because it's more gentle than the cloth. Right. But right now there's still a lot of paper pulp. So I'm going to get uh, a little bowl of water and try to rub the rest of this off. Okay, here we are. We're back here again at the library. This has been certainly an experiment, um, but kind of fun to experiment. Usually when I do crafts, uh, like I said before, I, for the most part, know how to do them, or I test them out once, and that's the video. And this required a little bit of experimenting and it was actually kind of fun to play craft myth busters for myself um, but I am back my coaster is dry and here it is all finished so as you can see there are no more white patches and you can also see the rings of the wood on the coaster it is so cool it's very subtle but it's very cool there were only a couple patches where I rubbed too hard. Um, it did take a couple a couple of layers, I would say, to get all of the pulp off. So like you saw on the last clip, I kind of rubbed it with my finger. Um, then I would let it dry. And when you let it dry, you'll see it all of the white pulp shows up again and it feels like you almost didn't do anything. I like doing it with my finger because I don't rub as hard as I do with the paper towel or the towel. So then I wet my finger again, and also with the finger you can feel the texture of the pulp versus um, the stuff that's been sealed by the Mod Podge, which is smoother. So then you can rub that again, and, um, and you just keep doing that in layers, and it's easier to let it dry between layers. Uh, so you can see exactly where there's still pulp and when there's not. And again, you can also kind of feel it a little bit. You'll see. Um, so this took just a couple of sessions of drying and rubbing. And I just sealed this with a little bit more Mod Podge. Um, you should definitely have enough Mod Podge in this cup to do. It's just a very, very thin layer uh, with my foam brush again. And this makes it nice and smooth and sealed. I still, I wouldn't put a soaking wet glass on top of this coaster, but it will still protect your surfaces. Um, you can do a couple layers of Mod Podge depending on how much you have left. And if you don't have any and you have just some white craft glue, Mod Podge is basically the same is like an Elmer's glue but a, a slightly different texture a little more watered down um, it was just a slightly different kind of formula uh, from regular craft glue um, 
But yeah, so this has been sealed. You can see the wood grain through. It's very cool. Um, so what became of the other one that you saw me doing that was unsuccessful from the inkjet printer? Uh, here it is. And I did even seal it with Mod Podge. You can kind of see. You can kind of see her, but not really. <laughs> but anyway, I think the true winner is the laser jet printer and Mod Podge. And you can use regular Mod Podge. You don't need photo transfer Mod Podge. And that was my real experiment. Because you'll see all over Pinterest people saying that you need the photo transfer medium. But you can do it with regular Mod Podge, which is what we're using. That is it. That is my adorable kitty cat coaster. Uh, I love the pictures that some of you all were sending me of family and landscapes and uh, quite a few beach pictures, uh, which I think would look lovely on a wooden coaster. Uh, I hope that you all have fun with it. And if you did not get a kit, again, these supplies are super inexpensive. You can get any kind of plain wood coaster, whether it's this kind or this. You can find them at craft stores. I think the Dollar Tree has stuff like this. Uh, you can find them online at online retailers. And again, Mod Podge is so easy to find and just print out your pictures. And if you do not have a laser jet printer, you can always go to uh, any kind of store that has copies like Staples or, or anything like that and have them printed for you. All right, that is it for me for today. I hope that you all enjoy making your photo coasters. If you have any questions, please let me know. You know how to reach me. My email is on the front page of our website. You can leave a comment on any of these videos wherever it is that you're watching. And so for now, it's I'll see you next time. Bye.